Hello and welcome back to the channel this week. This week we've got a great episode. We're going to be talking about photographic projects and the five things that you can do to make it successful. So the first thing we're going to talk about is location. You really need to decide, is this project location specific? Now, the project that I'm working on right now is about a certain location in Gloucester, Mass. And it's, a, it's just a street, it's a simple street that connects Main Street and uh, Middle Street. And it goes up a hill and there's a few businesses on it and the architecture is kind of interesting. It's kind of a cool place. And so far I've gotten some interesting images out of it and I'm gonna try and do more with it. So for me, it was all about that specific location and believe me, you know, uh, our dog groomer is on that street. So let's go on to the second thing. The second thing really is all about time frame. So how long is this project gonna take? Is it years and months or weeks or days, or maybe it's only an hour or two? So try and decide what your time frame is gonna be. It's, uh, it's kind of an important thing. Now for me, um, is it gonna be an ongoing thing? Am I gonna be working on this forever? No, I don't think so. I'm probably gonna make it about six months maybe. Um, and I, it may become shorter than that. It's a small street and you know, there's a few things on it that are really great, but um, I don't know if it's gonna take six months. It might only take two or three, but I might wanna spread it out so that I can do some at night and I might wanna take portraits of the people that work in the, you know, there's a barber shop there, the dog groomers kind of photograph that too. So there's some things that are interesting on that street that might take me a little while. So I'm leaving it kind of open-ended, but I want to make sure it's kind of done within six months. Now the third thing is how are you going to be taking these images? Uh, this is an interesting subject. If you think about it, are you going to be using different cameras? Are you going to be using one camera? Um, how about this? Are you going to be using one lens? Are you going to be using just a zoom lens? Or are you going to be using several prime lenses? Um, and you want to just try and make sure that all your technical aspects that you have to deal with are all ironed out beforehand so that you can just go and do the project and not worry about any of the other technical aspects. Now, for me, I, what I've done is, is I've decided that I'm going to use prime lenses and I'm going to uh, work on other areas that, I'll give you the reason behind the prime lenses. I really don't want to use a zoom lens because it makes it too easy. <laughs> what I want to try and do is I want to try and use prime lenses so that I can work on my compositions with just a specific focal length. And I don't want to do that with a zoom lens. Now, one of the other things that I've been kind of struggling with, and that's over just the past, you know, few days or so, I've thought about, why don't we just use JPEGs and we'll use different film simulation JPEG, JPEG recipes. And I'm still kind of struggling with that, but I think what I may do is I may shoot raw and JPEG and if the JPEGs look good to me as they are out of the camera with just a little bit of tweaking that I might use just the JPEGs and label it a certain film recipe. That would be kind of cool. Now, where I, where I wind up in trouble is, is that the, the black and whites to me, sometimes they look good and sometimes they don't. So I've got to run it through Lightroom and get it into, final, uh, into uh, Silver Effects Pro 2 to be able to make it look great. Um, and I'm going to show you some examples here of that. Um, the other thing is, are you going to do it in digital form or are you going to do it in film? That's a choice. Now, I may work on projects, um, you know, coming up in the future that'll just be film. But how about maybe I shoot a little film on this project? So it's 
kind of mixed. I don't know, you know, I got to iron that out. I'm leaning not towards film uh, just because I don't want to add that other element into it. I'm trying to make it simple and concise. You know, that really is kind of, this is my struggle working with this particular project that I'm doing on Center Street. So the fifth thing is, what are you going to do with these images? Are you going to be uh, just using them on social media? So we back up a little bit. Maybe it's just JPEGs. Take them right out of the camera. And I'm using Fujifilm, so I use the app. I can put them right into Instagram pretty easily. And I, I, you know, I'm going from camera to phone um, and adding a border, which is 4 by 5 and putting them into Instagram. So there's many ways you can look at at social media. You know, is it going just on Facebook? Is it going on Instagram? Is it going, you know, wherever it's going? Um, is it going to go mainly in a zine? Maybe I thought I'm thinking that mine will just be a zine, and I'll I'll put it up for sale so you guys can buy a copy of it, and it won't be real expensive, that's for sure. But in a zine, that might be a, a great way to show off these images. Now, a book. Um, it could be a book. Mine probably won't be because of the fact that it's not large enough. There's not, there's not as much in there. Um, books can be really long-term projects, uh, something that you've been working on for a long time, over years maybe, and then you have enough images to put in, you know, a hundred or so images, which would be great. Um, I'm also thinking of doing a gallery show. So, um, I have a number of galleries in town that I talk to regularly. Maybe there's that. I just don't know. You know, we'll just have to see. Um, the last thing is prints. You know, prints for sale. Um, is anybody going to be interested in this stuff? Now, coming out of a gallery, maybe they would be. So, these are the five things that I deal with when I work with a photographic project like this. And I got to say, uh, once I get all these ironed out, then I can just concentrate on making the photographs of the particular project that I have in mind. Now, the other thing is, is that I, and this is a bonus tip, is it going to be just a particular area or is it going to be people uh, and maybe just a, a people-oriented thing where there's a bunch of different locations? So think about that as well. If it's the latter where there's a bunch of people and a bunch of different locations, then you kind of have to iron that out first. Now, with me, it's just one location. It's great. I just go, park my car, walk in, up, up and down the street, and look for different times of day when I'm going to be pho photographing. Um, and, you know, the one I'm really excited about is nighttime because Main Street and Gloucester is kind of lit up, and I want to see how this particular street is lit up. Is it lit up really well? Can I make some great photographs, maybe with a tripod of blurred lights going up the hill? Uh, I think that would be kind of neat. So anyway... That's what I've been thinking about as far as projects go. And I know that um, the images along the way kind of describe what I'm, what I'm working on with my project. And maybe these five things will help you out as well. So if you wouldn't mind, please give me a like and subscribe to the channel and comment on what you've seen. And please check out capeandphototours.com where Right, we're open for business right now and we're doing a couple already. So please check that out, kpanphototours.com. And remember, it's not what you photograph, it's how you photograph it. And we'll catch you next time.